It's time to talk about a Half-Life 2 mod again this week, and oh boy, did I pick quite the cool one. Did anyone remember Snowdrop Escape? It was a total conversion mod that released back in 2021 that took place in a snowy covered environment where you played as James, a person hired by an organization to resolve a conflict between the people you're hired by and the rebels. It was quite interesting and I highly recommend you give it a go. Well, those same developers have now moved on to a brand new project called Swelter, and it's been in development for quite some time now, and it's almost ready to release. In fact, this mod will release this very month. So let's have a look at what this mod offers you, what you can expect when it comes out, and if it's going to be good or not. Lambda Federation. If you've been around last week, you would have known that we officially launched the Gary's Mod subcommunity over on LambdaGeneration.com. It's been extremely successful so far, and it's really fun to see all your creations appear on the website. We even set up some Gary's Mod servers of our own where you can play Sandbox, Dark RP, and TTT. And I even streamed live on those servers. Go check out that stream, by the way, it was chaotic as hell. Oh, and you can join the servers by going to gmod.LambdaGeneration.com. Now we have introduced another thing that ties into the whole Gmod subcommunity launch. We're doing an art competition. Because now that the entire original Multiverse update subcommunity lineup is completed, we want to celebrate. We want you to create a scene inside of Gary's Mod that depicts all the games that we love. An ultimate LendaGeneration.com poster, so to speak. Apart from it needing to adhere to some rules, which are linked down below and you should absolutely check out before you start, the direction is entirely yours. And yes, of course, we got prizes. We have a $10 Steam gift card waiting for three winning entries. One for the most impressive entry, one for the most creative, and another one for the most funny. So get creating! You got until June 12 to submit your entry. Any submissions sent after that will not be judged. Multiple entries and group entries are allowed, however, only one prize per person slash group. And please, read the rules. Again, the full post about this is in the description below. And now, onto the actual video. Swelter is an upcoming mod for Half-Life 2 Episode 2 developed by the Snowdrop Escape development team. The mod takes place in a rather unique location, something we have very rarely seen from a Half-Life 2 mod, post-Soviet Central Asia during the reign of the Combine. You play as a representative of the Lambda Resistance, which is a group of secret agents. And your aim is to help bring all these scattered resistance groups together to form one big resistance network to take on the Combine and drive them out of their region. And with each and every one of these separate resistance groups comes their own ideologies and views on how to take on the Combine. So it's not going to be super easy to bring these groups together. I sense that guns will probably be involved here. And that's a nice bridge to me talking about how this mod is going to play when it comes out. Apparently the gunplay is going to very much be like the original Half-Life 2, but with added aiming down sights to make it a little more interesting. Puzzles will also be involved and driving will also be a thing. Locations will be rather large, so exploration is also going to be key here. And maybe you'll even be rewarded for it too. It's said that the average playthrough will take around two hours to complete. Visually, the mod looks pretty stunning. The architecture is said to be inspired by countries like Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and Tajikistan, and the team actually did the research, diving into the history of these places, looking at photo collections, and travel blogs. Man, I hope I said those uh, country names correctly. Google Translate was not really much of a help here, I'm sorry. Furthermore, you can really tell this place was part of the Soviet Union at some point, with a lot of that distinct architecture showing up in this mod as well. All in all, the texture work and the overall look is quite amazing. We haven't had a color scheme like this in a Half-Life 2 mod very often. I'm almost daring to say that we haven't seen anything like this at all, but there's probably already some mod out there that already tried this and I'm just not in the know of it. Uh, feel free to tell me if that's actually true. Over on the project's ModDB page, there are several articles which you can read to find out some more development trivia about this project. Like the article called... Swelter is not Snowdrop Escape 2! Ah, okay, let's have a peek. So if you've played Snowdrop Escape before, you know how it plays, but the dev team states very clearly in this article that Swelter will play almost nothing like it. 
they aim for the gameplay to be a lot closer to Half-Life 2's gameplay this time. So that means that there will be the normal amount of puzzles and they won't be annoying. Their words, not mine. There will be no third-person cutscenes, no different weapon balancing, you can carry all the weapons, etc. Just your average Half-Life 2 experience with little to no sauce added. So yeah, same developers as Snowdrop Escape, but it will just play nothing like it. And that's fine. Not everyone was a fan of how Snowdrop played. Does any of this sound exciting to you? Well, then I have bad news. It's not out yet. But I'm going to turn that into good news because the mod will be out this month. Swelter is set to release on the 27th of June. That's in the very last week of this month. So if you want to play this, then you will just have to wait a little longer. But hey, it's something to look forward to, right? Kind of thinking of streaming this when it comes out. Might be fun. A link to Swelter, Steam page, and ModDB page are in the description below so you can check them out. And hey, maybe wishlist it. So what do you think? Are you going to play this or are you going to skip it? You don't like sand, do you? Well, let me know in the comments, I'll be reading all of them. Now, since Snowdrop Escape takes place in the extreme cold and Swelter takes place in the extreme heat, does that mean that the next mod this team makes will be right down the middle with the weather? Like, it'll just take place in a lukewarm location somewhere, like England? I need this answered.